All right, good morning, Arkansas. This is Assistant Chief Forecaster Cameron back here once again. I'm here to give you guys your Monday morning update here. So I did take the weekend off. Uh, Derek did, took over, did take over forecast here. However, um, I'm about to give you guys your morning outlook here. So um, down here in southern Arkansas at this time, if you're hearing some rumbles of thunder or you're seeing lightning, I promise you you're not dreaming. You do have a couple of scattered showers and storms ongoing down there in southern Arkansas at this time. So let's go ahead and talk about it real quickly here. These are um, just your hit and miss type thunderstorms here got a couple near pine bluff right now uh some near fordyce as well drifting down into union county uh near S smack over and just one just to the east of el dorado moving uh to the west here so you could experience some gusty winds with these uh storms here heavy rainfall and also some rumbles of thunder uh with these storms as well here as they continue to drift off uh to the south to southwest here but regardless guys it is going to be a hot and it's going to be a humid day here so just like yesterday if you get rainfall today with these spotty afternoon thunderstorms, consider yourself lucky. Not everyone's going to see rainfall for today here, so stay hydrated. Make sure you stay hydrated. I cannot stress that enough. That is one of the things that uh, we talked about here at Arkansas Weather Watchers that can lead to heat exhaustion, can lead to dehydration here, so staying hydrated. And I know a lot of folks, and I'm really guilty about this too, are wanting sodas, especially this time of the year. Guys, sodas is the worst thing for you whenever you're outside working in the heat. I'm talking you need Gatorade, you're going to need water uh, with this type of heat for today here. So that being said, let's talk about what's going on with the temperatures here. So surface temperatures right now, 79 down there in El Dorado, 79 in Camden, 81 in Tetracana here, 72 in Mina. I know you guys had a good thunderstorm come through yesterday afternoon here. Got a thunderstorm over Pine Bluff right now, 79 here. That temperature may be falling a couple of degrees over the next couple of minutes here, 79 in Camden, 77 in the metro right now, 72 in Mount Home, and also 77 in Memphis, 75 up there in Jonesboro at this current time here. So we do have that heat advisory in effect for today here. Remember, guys, you need that since we'll approach the 110 degree mark in some isolated areas here. 110 degrees or higher is the criteria for an excessive heat warning here. So if you see some sources on Facebook saying that we're under an excessive heat warning, we're not under an excessive heat warning, guys. Uh, that's The criteria for that is 110 plus. Right now, we are borderline. We're borderline for being in an excessive heat warning, but we're not quite there just yet here. But we don't need an excessive heat warning um, to, to cause trouble here. So just keep that in mind for today here. Right now, guys, your heat indexes at this current point here, upper 70s, some up, some upper 80s. And I'll go ahead and show you guys that real quickly here. So here's your here's your heat index down here in Texarkana right now, 86 degrees. And be in mind, it is 4.55 in the morning. And your dew point, your dew point coupled with your surface temperatures down there in, in Tetracana already at 86 at this current time. And so that tells me right there it is going to be a very, very warm and a very, very muggy day across Arkansas here. So with that being said, let's go ahead and talk about your weather highlights for today. Heat advisory for today. Scattered showers and storms will be possible today and tomorrow. If you see rainfall, consider yourself lucky. If you don't, you will likely experience 100 degree weather as we get towards later this week. The heat wave intensifies here. Derek talked about this yesterday in the seven day forecast. The heat ridge is going to intensify. It's going to um, gradually um, move to the east and sit over Arkansas here. So not only are we talking about the potential of someone seeing 100 degrees or above, we're also talking heat indexes, 110 plus here. So right now, I am kind of back and forth about the whole excessive heat warning thing. I think right now, just based off of guidance, we should stay under the criteria, which is 110. However, in some out, some localized areas, you could see 110 plus heat indexes. That really depends on who will see rainfall here. So, seeing rainfall is a double-edged sword. You know, you stay out of the hundreds for your surface temperatures. However, your heat indexes are going to be really up there as we get towards middle to late part of the week here. So just keep that in mind, stay hydrated, and make sure you take frequent breaks as needed, guys. And also, I made the personal, I made the graphic myself. The cold front is still on tap here. Uh, we're gonna have a, I'm gonna have a post for you guys about eight o'clock this morning uh, to talk about that here. So that being said, let's go ahead and talk about your morning regional outlook for today here, guys. And dangerous heat indexes are possible for much of Arkansas here for today here. I cannot stress that enough. 30% uh, chance of rain for today here. I say thunderstorms here. Um, also, this goes for Arkansas and Arkansas. I'm kind of blocking with my camera here. But um, 
That being said here, 30% chance of rain for today for much of Arkansas, 20% elsewhere. Hot and humid high temperatures in the low to mid-90s. Some areas could approach the 100 degree mark, especially down in southern Arkansas where you don't see any rainfall. However, heating nets is dangerous. Heating nets is we're talking 105 plus for today. Stay hydrated, guys. I know I sound like a broken record, but stay hydrated. Overnight lows tonight. Not much of a drop off in the mid to upper 70s here. So that the humid air is going to continue to last just here in Arkansas. So we'll continue to keep you guys updated right here on your source for all things Arkansas weather.